Hello friends, I hope that you're well. I'm sorry it's taken me a while for you to see this video. I was feeling unwell yesterday. I hardly ever feel unwell. Today is going to be a Q&A video ahead of the launch of my brand new clothing line called Solo. And I'm gonna be answering all of your questions regarding the brand, the clothing line, Solo, products. Pretty much every question that you guys asked me, I am going to be answering today. I want to be as honest as open with you guys about everything in the clothing line, how everything's made, how much everything is going to cost, the whole process. I'm going to be as transparent as possible. Now I'm going to start by showing you exactly what products that we are launching with, because I think that will answer a lot of your questions to begin with. And then I will go more in depth with the Q&A itself after that. So as I mentioned in the previous video, we are starting with a very small amount of products for a variety of reasons. One, the process of designing clothes from scratch takes a hell of a long time. We're currently back and forthing with a few of the first pieces and like I said I'm not settling for anything less than amazing so to make sure that we get everything just right it does take a very long time. And two, I want you guys to be part of the process. I didn't just want to launch an entire clothing range without having any of you guys's feedback along the way because of course I have my own ideas of what I would want and I've come up with a bunch of initial concepts, but I am just one person. And you guys are the ones like me who are going to be wearing the clothes, so I want you to be a part of the process. So this Q&A you'll find I'm probably gonna be asking you guys just about as many questions as I'm gonna be answering them. And this really is your chance to have a say. So what items are we launching with? We are launching with two crop tops and one bum bag. The t-shirts are actually exactly the same cut, but one is black and one is mauve, which is the beautiful dust pink colour. The material is every bit as soft as it looks. It's a polyester and viscose blend and I'm not just saying this but they are just a dream to wear. I wanted a crop top because I find that t-shirts just don't look good on me. They do not cut me where I want to be cut off unless I tuck them in but I often don't really want to have to deal with the faff of keep having to tuck things in when I'm travelling. And this top is just the perfect length of cropped in my opinion because it's a long crop. If you're wearing something high waisted, which most bottoms are these days, because they are just much more flattering, then your belly will not be on show unless you like lift your arms up in the air. It cuts you off exactly where you want to be cut off for it to be flattering, but also still quite demure. What's also quite fun about these crop tops is that you can switch up the size depending on how baggy that you like it. The small size is equivalent to a size 10. I am usually a size 10 and this is the size that I like to wear because usually I like items that are a closer fit. And arguably because I am a size 10, this is how it's designed to look, to be a slightly closer fit, but not too tight, which is just perfect. I also have it though and wear it in an XL, which which is equivalent to a size 16. And actually quite a few of my friends who are the same size as me prefer to wear it this size because they just prefer a baggier crop top, which then of course you can tuck in and whatnot. I think me personally, because I have big boobs is probably why I don't prefer that option. But you know, I've worn the XL to the gym. I have the XL in the black and in the mauve. And then I have the small one in black and I can just literally pair these t-shirts with every item in my wardrobe. So they're such a good staple for me to have. And you know, I've scrumpled them up a lot and they don't crease easily at all. So obviously fantastic to have in your backpack for that reason. And so that's the t-shirts, or should I say the crop tops? the black solo crop and the mauve solo crop. Now as for the bum bag, this is the first time you guys are efficiently seeing this and I'm so excited. It is just perfect for travel and I've already been using this every day at home. I'm gonna be making a video in the next couple of days before the launch of what I pack in my everyday travel bum bag. So in that video, I will show you this product a lot more in detail, all of its features, how I like to wear it. But having a quick look at it now, it is one size, but it has this adjustable strap here. I wear it as a cross body bag the majority of the time, even though it's called a bum bag. So I have it on the loosest available length. It has a main pocket on the top here, which which is really sizable, a medium pocket at the front, and a big flat hidden pocket at the back. I would like to have this in more colours at some point, but we're starting off with just the black, and this is the bum bag that I'm going to be taking with me to South America. Black goes with everything, it can be worn for all occasions, and it really is just the most versatile colour, so that's why we're starting off with black. But like I said, I'm going to be talking a lot more about this bum bag in the 
what's in my everyday travel bomb bag video, so look out for that one. So that is it for the products that we are going to be launching with, and we're going to be launching on Thursday the 31st of October, which is this week at 2 p.m. GST. Uh, now, I do believe the clocks are changing between now and then, but on the day it will be at 2 p.m. England time. And this is because my top three audiences are UK, US, and Australia, and you guys live all over the world, and I wanted to at least try and have everyone awake and so for Australia you'll probably just about be going to bed but hopefully still up and for America you'll just be waking up but hopefully still awake. Unfortunately as it's my first release the stock will be limited so if you want to guarantee that you're going to be one of the first people to get your hands on some solo products then I highly recommend being on your computer or on your phone or online at the time of the launch to be in with the best chance of getting what you want. And as a big thank you from me I'm going to be writing handwritten personalised notes for the first 50 customers to purchase from Solo to show my gratitude as this is my first ever launch. Now, as promised, onto your question. There was a lot of questions, but a lot of them were quite similar, so I've tried to sort of group them together somewhat, so hopefully you'll all get the answer that you're after. So we're gonna start with the most popular questions. Is the clothing line ethically sourced and manufactured and environmentally sustainable? In a word, yes and yes. First of all, all of our suppliers are operating in the UK. We are very particular about who our suppliers are and we ensure that they are fully researched. For example, the suppliers of our crop tops are very conscious about their carbon footprint. The processes used to make these use seven times less water than the average manufacturer. And any water that is used is filtered and recycled to use again. They use renewable energy to power most of the production. And there's virtually zero waste in making them. As all of the fabric that isn't used is taken and reused elsewhere. On another note, the packaging that we're using for Solo is fully compostable. And also this is something that I'm very passionate about. The products are used made in high quality materials, meaning they are not just gonna fall apart after a few uses. I know some backpackers like to say, oh, just bring rubbish clothes with you that you don't care about because you're only gonna end up throwing them away. I fully disagree with this way of doing things. What a complete and utter waste. I believe that the clothes that you travel with should be high quality so that they withstand the duration of your trip and trips to come. They take you through all of your adventures and they're clothes that you love, that you feel good in. So you want to wear them again and again and look good on your travels. What's the largest size you go up to is it size inclusive, sizing availability? Will there be different styles to suit different body types? So with the products that we are first launching with, the crop tops come in size small to XL, which is the equivalent of size 10 to 16. The bum bag is one size, but it's fully adjustable. As for the products coming your way in the future, the ones that are taking a little bit longer, they will be fully size inclusive. Literally whatever sizes that you guys want to go up to or down to, we can cater for. But it is so important that in particular, if you are someone who feels like brands do not normally cater to your size, that you sign up to the mailing list which you can do by going to www.backpackingsolo.shop because I'm going to be sending out forms and polls for you guys to fill in where you can literally tell me the kind of products you are interested in and what size you are, what size you want me to go up to because I'm really going to be going off that data to know what to produce because obviously we have to order in the stocks for these items. So it's really important that I have a rough idea of these things. I will link it down below in the description www.backpackingsolo.shop that will sign you up to the mailing list to get updates and get involved. Is it just women's wear or will there be men's wear too? At first it will mainly be women's wear because of course that's what I know. I would really really like to do men's wear but guys I need your help. As a man who travels what do you want? What clothes do you find that you really lean towards when you're backpacking? Or what would you change about those clothes? Maybe there's some clothes that you really like but you're like oh I wish it had this. Let me know this is what I'm here for. What would you like to change about some of the things in your current wardrobe to make them more travel friendly? I've been getting some feedback already, there's been ideas thrown around such as a men's travel shorts which you can go swimming in but it's really quick drying so that you can just carry on wearing it in the day and even into the evening but they just look like a normal pair of shorts. Tank tops and travel vests have also been thrown around but be more specific with me. I want us to be creative to get items which you can't get anywhere else. But saying that, the bum bag is unisex and I can confirm it looks amazing on both women and men. I've had Joel wearing the bum bag, I've had Hamish wearing it. In fact, Hamish was even wearing the crop top and he looked 
fierce. So guys, if crop tops are your thing, then I can guarantee you that you will look extra fly in the solo one. And Hamish was wearing an XL, by the way, in that photo. What sorts of clothes will be available? Will it be like your everyday wear? Like play suits, flowy shorts, etc. Will there be zip up pockets? Will there be hoodies, culottes, hats, shoes, accessories? Will there be luggage, backpack option, packing cubes, travel towels, tank tops, skirts, chesses, swimwear? I hope that eventually, yes to everything, my priority and the things that you will see be released first are the kind of clothes that I like to wear every day on my travel. I feel like I want to tell you at this point that the signature item that I am balls deep in the process of creating at the moment is the perfect travel play suit. I didn't want to give spoilers today, but I'm gonna give spoilers. Zipped pockets, absolutely on everything because I'm not settling for anything less than amazing, remember? After the play suit, I want to be making shorts, Jesus trousers, the perfect travel hoodie. I would really like to do more travel accessories as well. Like a travel towel, packing cube, wash bags, hats. But again, I'm gonna bring this back to you guys. What do you want the most? What do you feel is missing in your backpack that you would like to see me make? Get involved in the comments and if you don't have any ideas yourself, support the ideas that you really like the sound of. I'm so excited for this process and I hope you guys are too. Will the clothing eventually cover various climates? Yes, I'd love to look into this. There will definitely be more of a summer focus at first because the majority of budget backpacker destinations have a warm climate. But if the demand for cold weather backpacker clothing is there, then it's definitely something that we can look more into in the future. What makes Solo great for traveling? Oh. Good question, thanks for asking. The high quality materials that will withstand your epic adventures, the flattering fits that will make you feel confident as hell when you're wearing them and look fabulous for your travel pictures, the versatile materials and designs that can be worn on several travel occasions and from the day into the evening, and finally the practical features that we crave as travellers but very rarely get given. Zipped pockets. Will the logo be on everything? Yes, in some form or another. I know not everyone is a big fan of logos and I will make the logo discreet when I deem appropriate. For example, the play suit is not going to have the logo anywhere here. I'm proud of the Solo brand and I always want the logo to be present, but I also want to be creating clothes that I actually want to wear. So rest assured, I will always put the logo in an appropriate place, which I hope you'll all be happy with. Will there be different collections or just staple pieces? I would love for there to be collections. This is like one of the first things I kind of dreamed about when I thought of having my own clothing line, naming each collection after a different location. But this is something that will definitely come with time. It's important that we create the staple pieces first to go off and then expand from there. What is the price range? Is it affordable? For what you're getting, yes, this is absolutely affordable. I'd be lying if I said it was cheap because this is not a fast fashion business. For our products that are launching this week, oh my God, this week, um, I believe the bum bag is 15 pounds and the crop top is 20 pounds. The upcoming play suit and other items will be a bit more than this, but I can assure you it would not be anything more than what I would be willing to pay for a product of its kind. I'm obviously aware that a lot of us are backpackers. We want to be careful where we spend our money. So it's really important to me that all of the pieces in Solo are worth every penny that you will pay. Will it ship worldwide and how much will that cost? Yes, we ship worldwide, wherever you are in the world. If you're in the US, Australia, Germany, Netherlands, Switzerland, Canada, wherever you are, we ship to you. Because we are operating and shipping from the UK, it is cheaper for UK shipping. I believe that is 3 99 And I believe for the rest of the world, it's 9 99 don't hold me to that number, but the postage is fully tracked. So once you have placed your order, you will be able to track your delivery and know exactly when your package is coming. And the final question, which I want to touch on briefly is, how did it all start? How are you doing this? Sourcing suppliers, designing, etc. I wish I could tell you that I've done this all by myself, but I would be lying. My expertise lie in traveling and knowing what travelers want and need. My expertise do not lie in the UK fashion scene, in manufacturing, shipping, actual clothing design. So for all of that, I'm working with a company called Catalyst who are experts in all of these fields. They are absolutely brilliant. And so when I refer to Solo and say, oh, we are doing this, I'm referring to me and Catalyst. So I come to Catalyst with my ideas. I say, this is what I want. 
I try to sketch it out, but I'm not very good at sketching. Then they will draw up a proper technical design. We'll talk materials together and what's actually going to work for the product. They find the manufacturers who are best for that piece. They look after the website, the orders, the packing and postage. And they will also be the customer support when you guys make a purchase. But I'm the one who comes up with the ideas and the initial concepts. I have the final say on everything. So it's the perfect partnership, really. So as a recap on the whole video, things to note. We are launching this Thursday, the 31st of October, 2 p.m. GST. So wherever you are in the world, make sure you know what time that is for you. I will also be setting reminders and countdowns on the Backpacking Solo Shop Instagram. I'm also gonna be posting other things on the Backpacking Solo Shop Instagram just to keep you updated and to give inspiration of how you can style the different solo pieces. And finally, please sign up to the mailing list, which you can do by going to www.backpackingsolo.shop to make sure that you don't miss out on any polls or forms that we send out that give you the opportunity to have your set in the clothing you want, in the sizes you want. I've said this all enough now, but I will link the website down in the description. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video and got the information that you wanted to out of it. Of course, if you still have more questions, leave them down in the comments. Hope you all have a fabulous rest of weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.